Okay, as we've been talking about, it's the start of Thanksgiving travel and holiday travel. This is the yes. season. Yes, hundreds of thousands of people expected to hit Bay Area airports this weekend. SFO, Oakland, San Jose as well. Let's go to San Jose Mineta right now with Crown Force Camila Barco. Seeing people off. I don't know if you're uh, handling any luggage, opening any doors, doing any favors for people <laughs> out there. Hey, Camila. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Well, no, I'm just carrying this microphone for right now. And it's a much slower pace here at San Jose International Airport compared to the last hour. If you were watching at 6 o'clock, you might have noticed a long line behind me. But now it's quick and easy to get through security. But this is just the start of this holiday uh, travel season. It's Thanksgiving, less than one week away, and airports are going to be seeing hundreds of people walk through their doors. Take a look at this. San Jose International Airport, they're expected to see more than 438,000 passengers over the next 12 days. At the Oakland Airport, crews expect to see 170,000 people between next Wednesday and Sunday, November 27th. And at SFO, the busiest days are today and Sunday, November 27th. So keep that in mind if you're traveling this uh, for the next few days. As uh, Thanksgiving, like I said, is one week away, and today marks the peak of the holiday travel. We did speak to some people about uh, what check-in was like this morning. Here's what one guy had to say. Uh, we've been able to check in. It's been pretty hectic. I mean, we saw uh, earlier today that the lines are starting to fill out for getting through security, so uh, we're hoping that it goes through smoothly and everything turns out pretty well. Well, hopefully he was able to get to his gate on time. And to make the process smoother, Zaria James, there's several things that people can do to uh, to make that process smoother. They can check in early. They can do it on their phone. Uh, obviously, get here as, uh, as soon as possible. Maybe try to do your parking on the line. And I've also learned that if you download that TSA app, you can check out how long the wait is instead of maybe getting it. Uh, yeah, checking out the TSA app. I'll send it back to you guys. There's something about, yeah, being like you're talking about being really organized and really early that just makes your life a little it easier. Helps. Yeah. It helps. Thank you, Camila. <laughs> 7.34 is the time right now. And, uh, you know, catalytic converter thefts have been happening like crazy. It's an epidemic now. A thousand percent up since 2019. Yes. So to help fight this crime, Governor Newsom recently signed some laws to try to define, first of all, who can sell and purchase catalytic converters. The idea is to take away the hot market, ensure that sellers are verifiable owners, so they're not selling one that they stole, and that there's a traceable payment method for the transactions. And it also includes fines and penalties for those convicted of violence these requirements. The idea is he's thinking if you take the market away for the hot converters, <laughs> then maybe people stop stealing them.